Hello and welcome to this nighttime edition of, um, of a video about a um, channeling CDT 100i HD CD player. If you think it is just a pretty boy, I uh, think again it's. Um, it's got features galore and excellent engineering and I wanted this player for a very very long time uh, I'm not going to keep it because it hasn't got balanced output but then otherwise it ticks all the boxes it's HDCD with Pacific Microsonics PMD 200 it has four Burr Brown uh, laser trim DAX PCM 1704 which are the last proper DAC um, ever made before the Sigma Delta came around. It's got four of them. So that's why I assumed it would have balanced output, but they use them just to minimize distortion. It's got output tubes and um, headphone output and all sorts of things. Dimming of the display, which I suppose I should have uh, started on a... Uh, with the dim display and also it's got upsampling to um, 2496 or HDCD you can choose but anyway enough of this um, waffling um, let me show you because you'll never see it again and the reason for that is that let me turn on power amps and everything else this player is extremely hard to take apart and as you see, this is a 110 volt version, so I'm running my converter. And, um, and I have to convert it to 240, so if anybody out there can give me a pictures of the insides, just to check if uh, there is any more than what I think it is. So let me show you what's inside. Okay, so here it is. Here it is, a, um, a Shanling CDT100. Here we have a power supply, and to convert it, there is three plugs there, which I presume will go into those spots, and with just different primary windings of a transformer. But I'm worried that there might be some resistor changes that I don't know about. And um, all the rest of it. As you see, there's no afterthoughts. Everything was planned and executed. Perhaps the only afterthought was me mechanical, where the holes are not perfectly drilled to... Um, I mean, they drilled perfectly, but the artwork wasn't quite right. But other than that, you just cannot complain about it. This is your Pacific Microsonic HDCD chip, uh, and there are four Burr Brown 1704s. Capacitors, we have here a... Um, Nihicon, fine gold, Elnas, and the black ones are Rubicons, and these are um, Elnas here, these are Elnas, so they're all the good parts there. For the um, lovers of good power regulation, have a look at this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that I could spot easily, so maybe there is an oh, there's a 12th. So 12 regulators. I mean, it's proper engineering all up. There's your headphone output there. Tubes there, tubes there. And um, very good player. I mean, all around. It's, 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 it's beautiful. But uh, sadly, I'll, I'll sell it because it hasn't got the, uh, you know, balanced output. And you can see, attention to detail. Coax is not just some silly coax, it's all Teflon coated, double shielded coax that goes from the output of a DA conversion to your sockets. So, um, you know, it's all good stuff, all good stuff. What was wrong with it? A um, couple of tabs broke off from the mechanism and um, the CD was just rattling, wasn't held properly. 
and it's a real bugger to do because to get onto the to get to the mechanism one has to remove that board and uh, everything display and everything is on it and of course millions of connectors and I had to cut that wire there as you see I've repaired it but uh, there was just no way of removing without damaging display and um, because those things are uh, a captive connector there's no co uh, actually plug and socket is just uh, soldered straight in but uh, all ended up well and uh, well that's enough I I'm sorry that I'm too excited about it but hardly ever you see such good well thought engineering the best quality parts used and uh, you know perfect execution perfect execution old aluminium brushed aluminium well till next time Bye-bye.